Hello, this is Sir. Uh, today I will continue talking about the VLANs, trunking, and IP phones. So the company hired three employees to deal with clients' phone calls. So the manager asked the new uh, the network admin to set them up with computers and IP phones. So they bought the equipment, three computers with three IP phones. He connected the computers and the IP phones to the switch and created two new VLANs, VLAN 5 for data and VLAN 10 for voice. And on the router, he will configure their default way so the new employees can have access to the other departments in the company. And for the IP addresses for the data VLAN and the voice VLAN, he will configure the router with two separate DHCP pools one for the data VLAN and the other for the voice VLAN. Then set up the IP phones and test them to see if they are working properly. So he got the equipment, the iPhone A with the PC for the first employee and the second IP phone and for IP phone C with the computers. So he connected let's choose the 10 with the phone IP phone and 11 and 12 and then on the switch he created or we need to create the two VLANs enable configure terminal VLAN 5 name data exit VLAN 10 name boss enter VLAN 5 I love to do this so I will not forget now I will we need to connect the PCs to their uh, to the VLANs VLAN 5 and the phones to VLAN 10 with access uh, with the access ports on the switch so I'll do them all together interface range in, uh, 1 0 10 to 12 switch port mode Access switch port access VLAN five for the data and for the voice here is showing voice. We can for the IP phones we want to choose voice for the IP phones VLAN VLAN ten voice. VLAN and enter number 10. Now, let's go to the switch, uh, to the router, and enter VLAN, the two new VLANs, enable, configure terminal, interface, press Ethernet 0, 0 dot 5 for VLAN 5, Encapsulation dot one Q for VLAN five IP address ten dot one dot five dot one two five five dot zero interface at zero zero ten for VLAN ten encapsulation dot one Q 
and this is for VLAN in the IP for the voice VLAN IP address of n.1.10.1 with the slash 20 for subnet mask exit now I want to configure the router also as a DHCP so uh, two poles one for PCs on VLAN 5 and uh, for the IP phones another uh, pool I'll call it uh, voice IP DHCP pool I'll call this PC network 10.1.5.0 with slash 24 subnet mask default router of 10.1.5.1 this is for the data VLAN exit or for the PCs on uh, VLAN 5 now for the other for the voice IP DHC CP I will exclude 10.1.10.1 to 10.1.10.10 what did I do low IP 10.1.10.1 to 10.1.10.10 sorry about that now IP DHCP pool and we'll call this voice network 10.1.10.0 with the subject mask 24.255.255.255.255.0 default router of 10.1.10.1 and here for the voice the option will choose number 150 IP 10.1.10.1 exit here also I will see if the Cisco discovery protocol is enabled on the router show CDP neighbor and configure terminal CDP run exit okay now show IP DHCP binding still not showing us anything and I want to run the CDP neighbor on the switch configure terminal CDP run exit show CDP neighbor and it can see the three phones and now let me see if the PCs are getting their IP configuration yes it did for this one uh, sorry about that I don't meant the PC and here it received the 10.1.5.3 and for PCC DHCP IP configuration 10.1.5.4 with the slash 24 subnet mask now let's go back to the as I said uh, show CDP neighbor so show IP DHCP binding and as we can see here it got the IP addresses from both pools the, the the IP phones and the PCs on uh, VLAN 5 
and I will run to see if the I show run. And I did not exclude any IP addresses for VLAN 5 anyway. So now let's go back to the PC and configure the IP phones, configure terminal, telephony services. Now we are in the telephony configuration. What options do we have here that we need to configure? First, let's do the maximum. D and directory numbers, we have three three IP phones that we want to configure. Yeah, the other option we need to work on, which is the E phones, and we are working on three E phones. And as for IP, source address, which is uh, 10.1.10.1, port uh, 2000, until uh, up to 9999 we will go with the 2000 and another the other option with auto assign we want to auto assign three oh sorry about that auto assign uh, no, from one to three. Sorry, from uh, e phone one to three. IP phone one to three. Exit here and e phone e phone directory number. E phone DN for the E phone number one, we want to give it number uh, 1001. Exit here now for E phone directory number two, we want to give it number 1002. Exit here phone directory number three for IP phone three we want to give it the number 1003 and as we can see here it is uh, the devices that IP phone are registering let us see here and for on the socket number two so let us see show run and it's registering with the mac addresses and i did not configure this but it's giving us also the type and let's start it with the at the top the telephony telephony service maximum as we configured it for three ip phones the Maximum directory number three, and this is our source 10.1.10.1 on port 2000. And we auto assigned from one to three. And the number we gave for uh, uh, 1001, 1002, 1003 in the directory numbers. And for e phone one, the security mode also it was done. To us uh, by default and the mac address for the ip phone and let us see with the first we need to plug the ip phone and the gui and it took a phone number here and for the guy number two or ip phone two it didn't you, you know when you drag it it's showing kind of like a stop sign until it's showing a small arrow i guess yeah and drop it and for the third guy here we need to power it on and it is and as you can see here it uh, the i the phone number we configured it is showing here 
this is for uh, IP phone C let's get IP phone A and see if it's working so I'm gonna You hear the dial number. Now let's dial the guy on 1002 with 1002 and it is ringing. And pick it up. Now it is connected. And hang up again and again. So, uh, I configured the IP phone and I showed you how to do it and created the two VLANs. I hope you learned something. It is something really easy. Just follow the rules and the steps and, uh, you know, the way how to configure these devices are really, really easy. Please, if you like it, uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and uh, give me a thumb up. And thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in the next video. Have a nice day. Thank you.